All right, campers, for our main gameplay map, what we want to be able to do is know how many players are in the game. And the reason we need to know that is because when there's only one left, well, the game is over. Now, we're going to get into the U-Win condition just yet. We're just going to get into displaying the amount of players that are in the game playing. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing I have to do is create a UI, the online or the um, on-screen visual. So that all begins in a UI folder. So content, UI, I'm going to go into my uh, gameplay here. And uh, we're just going to right-click, user interface, and at the bottom, you can't see it, it's widget blueprint. There we go. And I'm just going to call this uh, connected players. There we go, and uh, double click to open it up and dock it if I need to. Now, inside of this area, uh, really just right in the middle here, I'm going to put uh, two text boxes, one right here, and I'm gonna put another one right underneath it. And inside of this first one, well, before I uh, change what's inside there, I'm just gonna come over here and anchor it to the top, and let's go ahead and zoom in there. I can zoom in on it, and uh, kinda get it in the center on the top. Then what I'm going to do is come down, and this is just going to be uh, players. There we go. And uh, let's make it go ahead, and if you want, you can open up font, and let's make this 50, just like that. And I'm going to expand that box and then recenter it. There we go. And I can scroll down and then do justification, and we'll do center for that. Okay. And then for this box, what we're going to do is very similar. We're just going to come up to the top for this box. We're going to uh, click on center, uh, anchor it in the middle, top. Then we're going to scroll down. And in here, we're just going to put a default value. This will be changed. We can just put zero. And uh, we can come down here. Let's go ahead and change this to 50. And then we're going to do center. All right. Perfect. And you can play around with your positioning of this. You can put it right in the middle. And I, you know, I don't know how many players I'll eventually have playing this game, but um, we want to know enough room for maybe a three-digit number. But for now, we're just going to do that. All right, compile and uh, save. All right, the next thing that we have to do is display this on the screen. And that the next step of that is uh, adding it to the viewport, and that happens in my game instance. So I'm going to go to my game map uh, tab there, content, blueprint, all levels and in there I have my game instance where it always is and right underneath there show uh, right under here I'm just gonna get some room and uh, let's go ahead and right click create a custom event add custom event and this is going to be uh, show player count show player count just like that I'm gonna select it and this will execute on owning client and we'll make it reliable and now off of this, we're just going to say uh, create widget. There we go. And inside here, we want to select the class. And this is just going to be our connected players widget that we just created. And off there, we're just going to add to viewport. Add to viewport. There it is. Add to viewport. And that is connected. All right. So we can uh, compile and save that the next thing that we have to do is we have to go into our game map level blueprint and to get that remember we click on our game map map tab come over here to blueprints right up in the top center click on the little down arrow and we're going to say open level blueprint and inside there oops let me get rid of that that was from an old thing there we are just going to actually add it off of what we already have in there event begin play remove all widgets um uh, get game instance we can just come here to the very end drag off of that and I want to say a uh, show connected Whoop. you know what we have to do let's go ahead and drag off of this pin right here the uh, my game instance as my game instance pin I'm just gonna drag off there and I can say show there it is show player count just like that and we'll connect these up and what you can do is you remember you can always hover and double click to create these reroutes and that'll uh, allow you to make it a little bit more um, organized. And there we go. Just like that. And compile and save. And now if I click play, I should see the player count on the screen. So if I click play, there it is right in the top, exactly how I want it. All right, so in the next one, we're going to program it. So go ahead, get your uh, widget already. Remember, that all starts with creating a UI right here then you're in your game instance you're going to add that to viewport and then in your gameplay map blueprint level blueprint you're going to make sure that you show you're going to call that uh, function okay so go ahead have some fun and i'll see you in the next session